Ladies and gentlemen, it's Fly Daily. Welcome back to the channel. It is official, ladies and gentlemen. We are entering the dark ages of War Thunder, which means anything and everything is going to be added to this game to increase the longevity of our savior, RN Jesus in War Thunder. Now, that might be a little dramatic because I thought this Dark Ages started with the R3 being at it, but they, they toned it down a little bit. Uh, we're, in, we're in the start of adding weapons into the game that were never proven in combat. I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> this... This is the L-O-S-A-T, the Low Sat Missile, ATGM. Uh, it it is it, it it is proven in combat. I mean, it, it is proven in tests. And I have to say, quite frankly, I've never seen something hit so hard. And I think it's for good reason. We'll 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 talk more on that in a second. But I just wanted to share some good news with y'all. Remember that dog we had on the channel? The video uh, where I talked about Marco was age restricted. I don't really know why. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I said we were fostering a dog. His name's Marco. He's on the website. If anyone's interested, please reach out. And long behold, the Fly Daily community uh, came around and we have... It's a hundred percent. I'm not going to reveal his name, but someone who is a part of this community contacted Second Chance Pet Adoption and is going to adopt Marco. That's awesome. That frees up space for us to take in another dog. Uh, it frees up the rescue. And I, I now have a lifelong connection to this dog to where I can keep up with, uh, with them and the new Fly Daily owner reason why I've never seen anything hit this hard before is because this is an ATGM that doesn't use chemical energy. It uses kinetic energy. Let's just watch this. Did you guys see that? It Oh, poor B. You know, be honest, that BMP is going to bounce this round. Oh, my gosh. This is what impressed me the most. This. Zoom. Zoom. I mean, how fast does this thing go? Does it need to be this fast? Absolutely. It's a kinetic warhead. This is so great. Look at that. Yeah, boom. What vehicle was that? T-55? Uh, yeah, it looks kind of eastern. Okay, but let's read about this real quick. Uh, low set, line of sight anti-tank. That is such a nice name for what this is. Uh, the reason why this thing is so fast is because it, it has to uh, go, well, it makes all its explosive properties from the speed. And the best part about this is that if we think this new vehicle coming to the game is, uh, you know, a little, a little overkill and big and stuff, th this was fit on to um where is it bradley's m8 armor gun systems uh l losat eventually emerged on an extended length heavy duty humvee humvees rolling around with 5400 kilometers an hour missiles and eventually this system turned into the compact kinetic energy missile, which I really just don't even want to even look at too much because, you know, it's the next step. It, it, it's the next step. What, what is a compact? Like Iron Man missiles that spawn from his shoulders? Anyways, uh, what we do here is I got to do... Thank you, Gentle. But the really nice thing is, is that there we just ran, we, we just ran a script. Thank you, Gentle. Um, where we are now looking at the LO, the, the, the low set in game. Now, what this thing is, is that we have 12 low set MGM 166 A's. And it looks like we're going to be on, uh, the XM8 chassis or the British CV something. 
where it's going to be extremely mobile around the battlefield. Now, at 10.3, someone's going to look at you, and then they're going to destroy these missiles, and you'll go explodey. The only thing is, is that a lot of this missile might be kinetic, and the other is, you know, the, the solid rocket motor or, or however this thing moves. But let's go ahead and look at the uh, stats of the LOSAT. Now, this is completely not 100%, but I can really start to believe this here. 1,500 meters a second, projectile mass, 78 kil kilograms. I can actually believe that. A 78 kilogram projectile mass. I can believe that. So pretty much, like, if you think about it, this thing creates its own explosive when it hits. It doesn't necessarily need to penetrate, right? Like, I think this thing will just overmatch any armor, but composite is a thing. But, like, would a vehicle really be ready to fight after bouncing one of these rounds or not entering the tank compartment like gears uh hydraulic hoses everything has to be the bodies inside have to be compromised okay now we're going to be able to take this out for a little test drive we have our mgms on board Okay, we're going to test fire into here. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we do not have elevation on our um, turret. So we're going to get uh, we're going to build ourselves a little elevation. This is going to this is going to mean so close range operations. Oh. That was nice. Let's 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 try it again over here. There you go. This is a little bit of elevation here. We we have zero. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, does this thing go faster than the? Uh, <laughs> probably not. The stormer. Oh yeah. Okay, seventy-eight kilograms of of uh, APFSDS. Wait, what do we call this thing? Armored piercing. It's not APFS. Well, it's armor piercing fin stabilize, discarding Sabo. It's APFS missile boosted. There we go. Rocket boosted. Oh my gosh. That is incredible looking on the kill cam. Okay, let's. Uh, I mean, I don't think it, it doesn't matter anywhere. Let's aim right here. Target destroyed. I don't think it matters where we hit. Okay, here we go. Let's just hit his track. It, it probably does matter. Hit. Okay, bounce. It's extremely accurate too. Wow, I've missed his track two times. Track hit. Okay, let's just aim right here. Where it's just like a fuel. I mean, the fuel's probably going to explode. Okay, missed. Going more for center of mass here. Ooh, in and out, in and out. So it's not like you just have a giant uh, high explosive shell. You know, I thought this was just overpressure. But I don't even know how the, how you would even call this thing overpressure. It doesn't over... I mean, it does overpressure, but not with high explosive. Okay, yeah, so it's not like that. So you're, you're going to have to aim for center of mass, it seems like. But... <clears throat> oh, I missed that one. Oh, my gosh. This thing is going to be a menace on, like, Middle Middle East if you can get up to that, that top portion. But at the same time, we're not going to be able... This thing's going to have to fight on level ground. Now, here's a T-80. 
I'm gonna aim at one of the worst spots to shoot it. I mean, that was okay. Um, <laughs> no armor, best armor, baby. <laughs> okay, where, where did he go? <laughs> He's just gone. He's gone into the nether. There's one of his wheels. Okay, is he back yet? <laughs> Guys, he's he's gone. He's disintegrated. There he is. Okay, I want to hit him upper plate. Wow. I'm going to refresh and go for more of a... Uh, that is approaching his weaker top armor. I wonder how much agility this missile has. It could be great at taking down choppers. Wow, yeah, this thing is going to be good at taking down choppers at decent range. It's just going to be interesting trying to use this thing in, you know, on terrain that where uh, you're not going to have the ability to raise this thing's turret. I wonder why it can't raise its turret. I mean, I can see why with the vehicle design and whatnot, but what? why is that a limitation? At the same time, on the Wikipedia, it said this thing was fitted onto an elongated Humvee, which needs to be added in the game. If there's R3s in the game, Humvees are allowed. Okay, yeah, this is what I want. Right there is super strong, right here. Let's try it again. Okay, let's go a little bit back so we get that missile above. Guys, I don't think anything will deny this thing. I just don't I just don't think it's in the vocabulary. Oh, except 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 uh this guy. I mean center center mass shots. Let's just check this thing's um uh what's it called? It's shrapnel radius. Cause this this is the biggest APFSDS in the game, or APFSDS. MB in the game. Look at the kill cam. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's just like a beautiful fan. Let let's go more center of mass. Yeah, there's um there's there's so much shrapnel. So much. It, oh my gosh, it doesn't. Think, I think what we need to think about this is. Uh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. There's no way I can even see that. Disney of thermals. Oh! Whoa, okay, here we go. It's going to be hot as crap coming out. Oh, I still can't see it. How is that. I don't know what it's doing. It's interesting why that penetrator is not glowing red hot. I mean, like, it should be heated up entirely by the, the air it's going by. Just imagine getting down an alleyway and just... This thing's going to be a mean machine. It's going to be... It's. I mean, it's not going to change the game anyway, shape or form. But it's going to have the ability just to get some awesome feed. So yeah, vertical guidance is absolutely zero. 10.3 though. It's going to have the ability to beat some modern tanks into combat positions or uh, good map positions. The only thing is, is that it's not going to be able to use many positions in the game. Unless you're terrain aware and you can park this thing properly to bring bare the uh, missile housing to be able to shoot cleanly. Another thing is, is that the maps are so small that this weapon really, it's not, it's not going to be as useful as on bigger maps like <clears throat> Bolda or... Uh, fire arc but those are so rare like this thing would be insanely good 
on Red Desert. But I would not want to use this. I, I don't. I don't like Red Desert. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed. Get a little hype for this vehicle. We will be playing it once it's available. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. Be safe. Peace out.